Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to try to walk through some of the steps that you need to take in order to be able to extract a normal or displacement map inside of Mudbox. The first thing you must have is a mesh with UVs. Uh, your UVs must lie in the positive uh, UV coordinate space. And then you need to have an object with uh, plenty of detail in it. In this case, I have uh, this mesh here, which I've subdivided inside of Mudbox and sculpted in additional surface details. And I'll just step up a few levels to show you some of the details that are in this mesh. And so what we want to be able to do, because obviously this mesh is very, very dense, and you can't render something like this uh, in real time, or uh, it would be very slow to do in a software renderer, um, is to be able to capture all of the surface detail here back down into a normal map. And then that normal map is then going to be used at render time. So um, what we're going to do is just go into the texture banking options. And since we're going to be firing rays from a low res surface to a high res surface, we need to first specify the low resolution surface in our case. In our case, it's just this mesh here that I've called uh, Old Woman. We pick the level zero of that mesh. We leave subdivision to none. For normal maps, because we can interpolate the smoothing across the normals uh, on a per, per vertex level, um, we don't need to apply any additional smoothing or subdivision to the low res surface. So just leave that set to none. For displacement maps, you could set this to good. For high resolution surface, we are going to pick the highest level of this particular mesh. I also could load a, a mesh from hard, the hard drive, or I could specify an additional, um, you know, an ar any arbitrary high res mesh that's also in the scene. And uh, for this object, we're going to set the subdivision to good. We're going to turn off displacement map, and we're going to give the normal map a name. You have some options here to set the map width and map height. You also have some options to set the file type. There's also a dis an, an option here for setting the search distance. The search distance will specify, basically what it does is it tells Modbox um, how far rays can travel um, away from the low res to go and search and find the high res. Um, these rays are what is used to uh, basically determine the normal or the distance um, between the uh, uh, low res and high res surfaces. That information is then baked down into the normal map or displacement map. There are also plenty of other options here for uh, advanced options for normal maps. Um, we also have some presets in here for choosing between Maya and 3D Studio Max. But for our test here, we're just going to go with some of the defaults that we have set up already and just go to start operation to begin the normal map uh, extraction process. Once the map is finished, you'll get uh, this little pop-up dialog here. Um, and It'll tell you how long the map took to calculate. And um, we'll just go and have a look at our resulting map. I'm just going to go into the image browser and we're going to browse down and have a look at the output normal map here. As you can see, the map is nice and clean. It's that simple to be able to extract a normal app inside of Mudbox.